Do you have the right side release buckles for your application? You're probably familiar with side release buckles. They're pretty ubiquitous. But what you may not realize is they come in a couple of different styles. One style is intended for the uh, female buckle to be sewn to the strap and fixed in place and then any adjustment is made on the side of the male buckle. But you can also get them adjustable on the female side. So for this example I'm making a strap for a coworker for his external frame backpack to allow him to store additional gear and he wants the strap to be adjustable on both sides so he can pull it tight. So for that application, I needed the double adjustable style of buckle. Now, if you have the double adjustable buckles and you need the buckle to be fixed, that's no problem. You just run a loop through and sew it in place and it'll be fixed in place. But it would be impossible to make a single adjustable be adjustable on the other side. So if you're gonna buy some and you only wanna buy one style, I'd recommend getting the double adjustable. The way I'm making these straps is to thread the webbing through both sides of the buckle. And then to finish the buckle end to make sure that it doesn't fray and to make it a little bit more difficult for it to come unthreaded from the buckle. I'm going to fold it over once and then fold it again and then I'll sew a bar tack down the middle to hold it in place. You could just singe the ends uh, and you could also sew this in before threading the buckle. It just makes it a little bit more challenging to get it through the buckle. To sew a bar tack in the end, I'll start by doing a line of straight stitching down the middle. Ordinarily I would start stitching and then reverse stitch a couple of stitches and then go forward again, but since I'm going to zigzag over it a couple of times, that's not necessary. If you don't have a zigzag capable sewing machine, you can just sew back and forth a few times and that'll accomplish the same thing. Once I've reached the end, I'll set my machine for a zigzag and then back over the seam. And then forward again. And now I'll lock it in with a reverse stitch. So if you want a strap that can be adjusted from both sides of the buckle, make sure you get a double adjustable side release buckle. If you like this video, please click like, and if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have your subscription. Thanks for watching.